Hello friends. Welcome to the second part of the Test Cafe tutorial series. So after a brief introduction of different features of Test Cafe, today we are going to start with a basic test. So this is what we are going to cover today. First thing is about the prerequisite that you need to ensure. Then we'll install Test Cafe. Then we'll write a simple test. Then we run the test. And finally, we see how the result will look like. Pretty straightforward. It's not gonna take as much time. So first, regarding the prerequisites, you should already have Node.js installed on your uh, system. Node.js is freely available for Windows, Linux, Mac, and the installation is also pretty straightforward. You can just visit the Node.js site from where you can download the installer. I'm running it on a Windows PC, so I have installed the Windows version. Choose the operating system accordingly. And I also prefer the LTS version, which is for long-term support. And as you can see, this is also the recommended version for most of the users. In case, if you want to try out the latest, the most recent features of Node.js, then you can go with the current version as well. But for our purpose, the LTS version would be sufficient. Second prerequisite, which is not something that you would probably need by default, your system comes up with a text editor like Notepad and a terminal as well. But I highly recommend that you also install a little bit feature rich text editor, something like Visual Studio Code, which I like very much. Installation is again pretty straightforward. Just go to the site, download the relevant setup and install it. You can choose any other IDs like Atom, Sublime Text, Notepad++, it's up to you. But in this tutorial, we are going to cover all the examples in Visual Studio Code. So as you can see, I have opened Visual Studio Code. I have zoomed in a little so that it becomes easier for you guys to see the code samples. This is the terminal window which you can open from view. Just to ensure that Node.js is installed properly, you can run this simple command. So this is showing the current version that I've installed for Node. Also, along with Node.js, the Node Package Manager, also known as NPM, will be installed. You can ensure that NPM has also installed properly by running a similar command, which will show the version that it has installed on your system. So that pretty much regarding the prerequisites, we are good to go. Now we can install Test Cafe directly. Installing Test Cafe is again a simple NPM command. And there are two ways that you can install Test Cafe. Either you can install it globally so that all your projects will have by default access to Test Cafe, or you can do a project specific installation, a local installation. We are going to cover the global installation in this video. For that, we'll just run npm install hyphen g, which means global, and then the package name. Just hit enter. It will take some time. Since I have already installed Test Cafe, uh, it will be done pretty quickly, but depending on your internet connection, it might need some time to download all the required packages from the internet. You can just ignore any warnings for timing. So installation is done and we are good to go to write our first test case. So let's jump in to the editor. So as you can see, I'm inside a directory called Test Cafe Demo. I have a empty file which I'm going to open. Now to use Test Cafe, we have to import first the selector from the Test Cafe module. Okay. So once you have imported the module, this is going to be a fixture like a suite where you'll write all the test cases. And inside the fixture, you can mention the name, I'll give a simple name, and then you have to call the page function of that fixture saying what is the web URL that you are going to 
work with. We are going to do a quick search on Google. So for us, it will be google.com. So for the fixture, google.com page will be opened and then we'll run our tests. So let's write our first test. Let's give a test name. And then we'll just pass a async function to this test. This is a special object called the test controller object, which will help us to access the test cafe API. Now, since this is an async function, we can await for individual action. For simple end-to-end -end test, what you usually do is you open a, a particular URL, then you do a series of actions, and then you at the end assert whether the expected result is coming or not. If whatever is expected is matching with the actual value, your test is passed, otherwise it gets failed. So similarly, we will wait until the action is done and we can also chain the actions in the API, there is something called type text. So you have to provide the selector and then you have to give a value that you want to type inside that element. So in the Google search input, we just got this is the CSS selector that I have written and I'll write this is the search query that I'm going to use. So once I have typed the text, I'll just click the search button for which I just have to pass the element locator. This is something I have already looked up. So that's it. We have done some actions on the google.com page. Now we're going to add some assertion. So we'll select something from the search results. This is the locator. And I'll select the text inside that to be equal to test cafe. That is all. Pretty much we need to run our simple test. We have imported the relevant module. We have added our first fixture. This is the page where we want to navigate. And this is a simple test where we are just typing test cafe inside the Google search input, clicking the search button and expecting that in the search result, test cafe should be present. Let's save the page. To run this test, what you need to do is inside this directory, you have to run test cafe. Then you give the browser name where you want to run this test. So I'll be running it on Chrome. So I'll say Chrome and then the file name, which is first test.js. You can press tab. So it will automatically complete the file name since we are in the same directory. And now we can hit enter and let's see what happens. The test cafe magic will begin now. So it has given me the Chrome version and the Windows version. It has opened Google, it has typed test cafe, it has clicked on Google search and now time for assertion. Oh my God, the test is failed. That's pretty bad. Well, let me show you the reason. Scroll up. So now you can see it says assertion error. Expected a Node.js tool to deeply equal test cafe. What happened here is when you search test cafe, this is the option that you're getting, right? And what I said that it should be equal to test cafe, but actually the method that I have chosen is not the correct one. So it should be exact match deeply equals to test cafe. And since it was not only test cafe, there was something, it was like a complete sentence. And since that was not the case, that's why the test failed. So in order to pass this test case, I just want to see whether the word test cafe is there, right? So you can use another method from the assertion API, which is contains, and then we can rerun our test. But as you can see, it has quite nicely shown what is the exact root cause and where I need to do changes to fix this test.
but you can see it has given me a nice detailed output as to where the issue is so let's run this once more and fingers crossed this time the test should get passed voila test is passed let me show you properly so it says that this is the fixture within that fixture we have executed this test and which is passed right say for example we had written another test we can just say for example copy paste this one and create another test uh, let's see uh, it's my second test we we'll fail it intentionally let's say you're expecting Java and let's run this once again Okay, so the first test is done. Now the second test is running. And now both the tests are completed. So what we are seeing is one of two tests failed. So one test got passed, the second got failed. And we have got a detailed explanation like before as to why the test got failed. So that's pretty much it. I hope just by following these instructions, you can now run a simple test in test cafe and in the next tutorial we are going to explore the test cafe api a little more thank you so much for watching and as always keep learning